Hi, welcome to Atrocious Gameplay. Now, if you watched the last video, we talked about the three spicy decks that I think your opponents will not expect you to bring and excel in in the Players' Cup. But today, we're going to talk about three strong decks and three strong archetypes that are not ADP that I think that you could take to the Players' Cup and that you could do really, really well with if you stuck with that deck or decided to play maybe 10 different tournaments in the Players' Cup with that deck. So if you like what you see, you like the content, make sure to hit like, comment, subscribe, and whatnot. I'd love the support in the last couple of videos. And honestly, through Twitch and everything, I really appreciate it. So uh, make sure you go check us out over there, twitch.tv slash gameplay as well. I know what you're here for. Let's check out the decks. We'll check out this one first, which is a very interesting deck. We know the archetype peak, Ron, but you're looking at this and you're like, excuse me? You're sitting here like, what the heck, Rhyperior V, trust me. This place, I believe it was second place at Monday Hegster event, the Monday of this past week. Um, and it did, I think it's actually pretty strong, I'm not going to lie. Eternatus is running around, you're going to run into a lot of Eternatus. This Rhyperior could be a very strong one-shotter that you can use in this deck. Now, yes, turn one full blitz is super hard and super, like, unrealistic to get anymore. But, with Bolton V, Electrify can actually do a lot of great things for you, especially when spreading damage, whether you're attaching to the Picaram, whether you're attaching to the Rhyperior, right? We're playing a Viridian Forest in here. We have a way to find that uh, fighting type energy along with just drawing into it. And then uh, you also have energy switches to be able to move that energy around if you want to, not only the early game, but also maybe the late game if you want to use it on this Choo Choo as well. So very very cool deck very very cool idea of adding the riparian there i think a lot of people would think that that's kind of a meme but i personally kind of think it's pretty decent i have yet to play a game with this deck i've just been super busy the last couple days but i came across this deck i analyzed it i kind of thought about the different matchups and stuff and i was like you know what this deck actually isn't that bad so i highly encourage that you uh maybe check this out try it out for yourself and see how it goes now, there's a lot of variations of Eternatus VMAX, and we pro you probably already knew that this was a strong archetype, but my phone is going off because the tag team podcast is going right now. Anyways, Eternatus VMAX is a very, very strong archetype, but I think the strongest way to play it is with a whole bunch of damage modifiers. So what I mean by that is you're playing a lot of scoop up nets. We've heard the term scoop up net uh, Eternatus. The scoop up net applies to these zigzagoons because the zigzagoons are some of the most important pieces in your deck. We look at a lot of things in the format right now, ADP, things like that, where it's just a little bit too much for Eternatus. So there's so many different options in this deck to be able to put pings on the ADP specifically to be able to knock it out as soon as it alter creations. I'm talking about Galarian Slowbro V. Very, very cool card. Rapid Fire Poison. I really like that ability, especially when comboing with the Dark City or any of the switches that you play in this deck. You obviously have the Zigzagoons that I talked about earlier with the Scoop Up Nets. Those could hurt. Those could help you very nicely late game. Maybe after you got an Eternatus knocked out and you need one more knockout, but you, you can't really find that Pokemon. So those scoop of nets, putting those pings on a Pokemon that you can either boss up or just whack in the active will be super, super nice. And then finally, the last damage modifier, Vitality Band. I really like this card. Um, it provides you that 10 extra damage. I already told you one situation of where you just need that one extra ping of damage with adp and i'm not even talking about things like Scorch. i have seen this deck in the champions festival go up against a Scorch v max and just one hit ko it because of things like slowbro because of things like zigzagoon because of things like vitality ban so i think this deck is very very strong and can hold up against its own in the meta especially when you talk about Scorch v max a deck that you know you may struggle with a little bit but Especially when you have things like the Sableye. The Hoopa is a very nice addition as well, in my opinion. Probably the preferred Hoopa. I'm not a huge fan of Pokecoms, but you know what? It's an easy way to find those Crobats. So then you can have one less card in your hand to be able to draw. This deck does well drawing. We've played Eternatus a ton on the stream. And 
people know that it's one of my favorite archetypes right now in the format it's just so fun putting a whole bunch of pokemon down putting damage counters everywhere perfectly calculating damage and i really think that you know a lot of people could really really do well with this deck i've said this once and i'll say it again i actually really like set scorch it might actually be my favorite deck right now in the format it might go set scorch and then eternatus and then i don't know what else but i like center scorch i think it's really really cool especially when you combo with welder one of the best cards in the format in my opinion or at least for a long time it's been one of the best cards in the format center scorch vmax with those that two energy costs accelerating all those fire energies you can do a ton of damage especially because this pulls from the discard pile as well pair that up with another great card another great card called heatran gx we've known about this one for a while as well it's usually in every fire deck that hot burn gx is just so good and it helps you one shot ko anything whether that is any v max whether that's adp whether that's pika rom whether that's literally uh, uh, I don't know, a Jirachi, you know, you could even take down. So very, very cool. You are playing a little bit heavier of an Eldegoss count in this deck, but along with the Giratina to be able to knock off energies, maybe you need a two shot like an Eternatus or something like that. This is really good. Knocking off some speed energies in Picarom, even some like capture energies or something like that in Decidueye or weakness guard energies in like Luke Metal as well. This Garatina, very, very good, especially because Luke Metal is popping in popularity as of late. So, Tina, very, very good card. Credit this list to Cashman, I believe. This is his list that he played. We love Cashman, a great player that we uh, know. And especially with the, the Volcanion, the Volcanion is really nice. You could argue to play more Volcanion. You could try to do, like, I don't know, maybe one Eldegoss, three Volcanion uh flare starter is just so so good but also the volcanian card becomes a crippling uh cripple i guess you could i don't even know if that's a word but a crippling cripple if you go first because then you're like well i'm not going to use flare starter i'm probably not going to use this card in the game i'm just going to go right into center scorch so very very interesting list i think these are all very very powerful another short video to be honest and that's okay because i want this to be kind of rapid fire information i want all of you to get these lists and i want you to start playing with them i want you to start excelling with them things like that remember as always all three of these deck lists all three of these deck lists and really any deck profile that i make um i always put in the description below so if you're if you're a returning person on the channel or maybe you've made it this far and it's your first time make sure to hit that subscribe button because i always give you all the deck lists i might not like scroll through exactly like oh you have one of this one of that but it's always going to be in the description so always check that out after the video but thank you so much for watching let me know how you're doing in the players cover right now i've seen a lot of people doing really really well lately i think i saw i think the highest i've seen so far of people finishing all 50 of their matches is like 128 i haven't checked the actual play pokemon leaderboard i'm sure it'll be a little bit higher than that um 128 seems like a lot but i'm sure somebody else is going to beat it because some people just draw like baby blondes i don't know anyways Again, thank you so much for watching. Remember, we're not very good at video games, but we have a fun time doing it. On Saturday, I will give a tournament report, so I'll play some games. Um, I've recorded some of the games this week, and uh, I will show you all some highlights of those games, some of those games, and then um, I'll kind of tell you like what I was playing, what I matched up with, what rounds, you know, as far as I can go, what my point total is at, so then you all can kind of keep track with me. Um, because I don't really, I mean, I don't care too much, but this system is a lot better and it's kind of the, uh, it's kind of fixed some of the things that I've had a problem with. So I want to do the player's cup this time and it's another tournament. It's kind of really nice for me because, uh, I get to, uh, I get to do it at my own time, which I, I don't get a lot. I don't get to do a lot in the online tourney. So thank you again so much for watching. Come back soon. You look cute today. Safe it up. Make sure to wear a mask, wash your hands.